Hello everyone and welcome back. So we're going to be creating this project over here using what we have learned so far in this series. And our focus is the navigation bar. The reason that we will just include like a header over here and this body is just to see how our navigation would play out in relation to the other components on our page. And by the way, when it comes to the color, we don't have to follow exactly uh, this. Uh, this is just our mock layout and you can choose your own color. And on my end as well, I might have to pick a different color. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started and create a folder over here. Uh, same location with what we have been doing in this series. I'm going to name this navbar. Okay, then select that one. And let's create our file here, index.html. Generate the HTML template, right-click here, and open with Live Server. Typically, a navigation bar is just a list. So we're going to be using unordered list. And inside here is going to be our example home. Typically, while they are a list, they are also an anchor tag. So we can create an anchor tag over here inside of a list item. For the home, we can just go ahead and cut this and paste it here in between the anchor tags. And we can fix the spacing like so. And right here is the link, right? So right now, we are just going to leave it blank. So I'm going to copy this. Maybe we can paste three more times. And probably here, we can say about. Uh, for your about page and maybe this one for example products and the last one may be contact okay for the contact page so as you can see over here upon saving our work we have this list so by default they are arranged vertically but of course we're going to be using css in order to arrange them into something like this all right so let's continue so over here at the top we can have like a div here uh, maybe we can add a class attribute and we are going to name this uh, header and this one will just type some text maybe an h1 and we will just copy what we have in here in our mock layout welcome to my page we can type that uh, in, in my case i'll just paste it save our work and this is basically what we need in html now we move on to the css part of this project so over here on our page, I just want to click here and Alt-Z on the keyboard to wrap the text over here so that we can see everything if in case our code went too long horizontally. So over here, we're going to link something and that, and that something is going to be the styles.css, right? So it's still blank right now. Hit back to index.html and type that file name over here. We always save our work just to make sure. Now we can go to the styles.css and we are going to test if the CSS file is already working. Uh, we can target the body. Maybe we can set the background color for now. Maybe let's just select that color. And if you have the background color like this, that means you're good to go. Maybe for the body, we will select something like uh, uh, this. All right? I think that's good for now. And we are going to format the, ba the body to have a, a, a default font family, maybe like an Arial. Uh, let me select that. And aside from that, maybe we can have like a margin of zero, padding zero as well. If we're going to save this, as you can see, there are no more margin. And uh, we can also use now the box sizing border box. All right, so in our index.html, we have this page over here at the top. Hold on, let me just zoom in this to 100%. And uh, there's a class header. We can go ahead and target that. So the first property perhaps is the background color. We can simply select uh, one right now by just uh, playing around with this slider. And I think that one is already good for now. Let's go ahead and center the text like so. Maybe we can change the text color. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, you that one's already good, but, but we can change that color for practice purposes. Okay, so maybe some padding as well. Maybe around 10 pixels. And there you have it. I think that's pretty good. Let me maximize. All right. All right, so let me just put it back over here. 
And as I think we're good with the header, we can now concentrate on the navigation right here. So we have two types of HTML elements, the anchor tag and the li tag under their parent ul. So let's target first the ul tag. So we can just type here ul. And normally for the unordered list, there's a default uh, bullets here, right? We want to get rid of that. So list style type, we're going to set it to none. There you have it. And maybe we can copy this margin and padding just to make sure that they don't have default margin and padding. And to refactor our code, we can actually target everything over here. Okay, and we can cut this box sizing border box and this one as well, like so. And now we don't need this in the UL tag because this asterisk over here targets all the HTML elements. And that is why most websites today you will normally see something like this at the very start of the CSS file. All right, so after the UL, if we want, we can target the LI here as well. But to be practical, we can just go ahead and go right away to the anchor tag. So UL, LI, and then anchor tag. In CSS, we are going to say UL, LI, and then anchor tag, open in curly brackets. Now we can style these, all right? So first, is the color by default it's like blue right well, we can change that color to something like white there you go uh, so since we are using a light color we can set the background color over here for the ul into something like dark and i'll just go ahead and type this uh, hex value uh, this is a dark gray color that i use all the time or most of the time you don't have to memorize it if you're using a, a certain color all the time and the pattern is easy to remember naturally it will be put into your memory with less effort all right so now for the underlines we can also get rid of that so we can say text decoration none and right now we want the arrangement of these items to be something like this and to achieve that we can actually use flexbox so the li is residing inside the ul right that is its parent element so here on the parent element we can declare a display property of flex and by default it will be arranged horizontally like so or inline or the items are sitting next to each other right and of course since you are using display flex if you want only if you want we can go ahead and justify the content to the center and we will be able to achieve something like this if that is what we want, okay? But right now, we, we what we're trying to uh, uh, come up is something like this. That means we're not going to be using this. So maybe we'll just type here left. And to give them like a breathing room uh, with all of these items, we can simply just add some padding, maybe around 10 pixels. And if you will remember, an anchor tag is by default an inline element. And an inline element do not respect top and bottom margin and padding. So therefore, even if we are going to set this to 100 pixels, it will only affect the left and the right padding. And at this point, you, we already know the answer that all we have to do is use an inline block, right? So display inline block. Inline, they will still be sitting next to each other but the margin and padding for top and bottom will be applied so it's just too wide right now because we exaggerated that to 100 pixels earlier to make a point so right now we can set it back to 10 pixels and we can have something like that and i think this is good for now i think the last one that we wanted to achieve that if the, if the user hover over to these elements maybe we can change the background color just like what we have here in our plan, in our mock layout, that when a user select a, a menu, maybe we will change the background color. Let's do that. So all we have to do is target the same element over here. So we can basically copy all of this and just delete this one, okay, except for the color. We're going to say if we are going to hover on an anchor tag, all right, so A colon hover 
we are going to change the background color maybe into something uh, uh, like this. Or oh, not color, but background color. Okay, so there you go. So uh, we'll just have to ensure that the uh, uh, background color is something lighter than this. So we can start from here. We can copy that and paste it here and hover on it and change a lighter gray. Okay, and if we are going to save that, uh, maximize our project. And if we hover on it, as you can see, the background color changes, highlighting the item that the user is selecting. But feel free to come up with your own design, experiment, it will help you learn more. And there you have it, we have a navigation bar over here, and we were able to apply display flex, unordered list, inline block, and other things that we have learned since we started this series. I hope that this has been informative for you. See you in the next one.